warmer weather, you're probably already planning ahead for summer right now, and that might include some camping trips. We want to make sure you are prepared if you bring along your pets. So this morning, I'm joined by Kathy Madsen, a certified dog trainer for Preventive Vet, and Amanda uh, Vandal, who is an animal care supervisor for Seattle Humane. Good morning to you both. Good morning. And who's our dog star this morning? This is Nozzle, and he Nozzle. is an 11-year-old bulldog. <laughs> he's so sweet. He's got his little puffer vest on. He's ready to go. All right, so when we go camping here, um, I know I'm guilty of this. I just kind of throw everything in the car. I'm like, let's right? go. And then once we're there, I kind of forget that we forgot about the dogs. Right, yeah. So camping with dogs is so much fun. Yeah. And you do want to do a little bit of prep work. Just a little bit, Just yeah. a little bit. You want to make sure that you bring along the things that they'll need on the trip. Mm -hmm. And then also get them used to the things that they're going to be dealing with while camping. Oh, good point. There's some things, I've heard some dogs who they show up at the campsite and their owners put on their little headlamps and the dog freaks out. Right. right. So you want to get your dog used to being around all the different things that they're going to see. In their safe environment. Yeah. Okay. So when you're getting out that tent to make sure there's no holes, it's ready to set up, all of that stuff, you know, introduce your dog. Have them come in, have some treats, get them used to being in there, the noises and the sounds. That can be really weird for a dog, too. That is great. And we have some awesome products that we brought along that can really help with your camping. Okay, what is this? This is an awesome little dog sleeping bag by a Rough dog Wear. Sleeping bag. That's yes, so it's so cute. You can put a pad in there as well. Rough Wear is a local Pacific Northwest company. Yeah. Um, they have some great stuff for camping. You cool. can find it online or at REI, places like that. But you do want to get your dog used to sleeping on their little mat. It's a really nice behavior when you go camping to work on teaching them to just settle in their spot, yeah. right? That way you can get your stuff done. Have kind not of a safe running. place too. Exactly. I feel like dogs love that. Yeah, and they want you want to keep them close to you. You don't want to let them just wander the campground. Yeah. It's not very polite to the other campers. Um, so you want to keep them on leash, either a long lead um, or tethered by you. Um, but one thing people don't think about too, especially if you have air mattress in your tent, is putting booties on your dog. Oh, dog okay. Nails, they might puncture your air yeah. mattress pretty easily when you're in there, and who wants to sleep on the ground? Now, I've, I feel like we've <laughs> all seen those YouTube videos of the dogs wearing yes. the boots and freaking out. How do we get our dogs used to these? Slowly, okay. right? Slowly, lots of treats, lots of fun things happening. Just get them used to wearing it. You don't want to just throw it on them and, sure. and be like, there you then go. They're, yeah, they're <laughs> kind of freaking out. But I've actually seen a lot of pets recently use these, I mean, even on hikes exactly. in snowy areas. It's yeah. Beautiful. It's great for their pop pads. Yeah. And so if you get like little booties or socks for in the tent, keeps your stuff safe from getting ripped up. Okay. And then on hikes and things like that, it really helps. Now, what is this right here? We have our little pop-up water bowl, but Very you want to make sure you bring that along yeah. with you, along with their food. Um, we also have lots of tips in our books from Preventive Vet, okay. 101 tips here, some great stuff for camping and hiking in there. Other things you want to think about is your dog's going to be doing everything with you. Yeah. You can't just leave them alone at the campsite while you go off on a hike, right. or if you're by a lake, you can't just leave them there in your car while you go out on a boat. Right. So you want to think about, they're going to be with you, what do I need to bring along? Okay. The dog backpack is great for a lot of dogs. And the dog carries this. Yes. All right. Dog, yeah. you're going to work. You're going to work for they yourself. They can carry <laughs> their treats, a little bit of their water. You want to make sure, though, that the weight of the pack isn't more than about 20, 25 percent of their body oh, weight. That's just like enough. for us. We yeah. don't overload it. Exactly. You don't hurt them. Just like the boots, you want to get them used to wearing this first, mm -hmm. right? You don't want to just throw it on and think that they'll be fine. Great point. <laughs> Another awesome product. This is for at nighttime. Oh my gosh, what it a cool idea. It lights up so you can see where your dog is. Yeah, that's really smart. <laughs> Helps you keep track of that. Um, that's also, a idea. speaking of boating, if you're boating while you're camping, the life jacket here is a necessary is a item. Yes. yes, for safety, all Absolutely. of that. You do want to get your dog used to wearing that, mm -hmm. just like everything else we've talked about. Yes, please have these for your dog. Always, dogs. always. Yeah. Safety first. This is interesting. This is like sunscreen for dogs. It is. So human sunscreen can be toxic for dogs. Okay. Right? So you want to make sure that you're using, um, this is EpiPet. It's FDA approved for use for your dogs. Okay. Um, really important if your dog doesn't have a lot of fur um, or like say, their real nose. Real furry dogs might not need it. Might not need it, but there are certain parts of their body where they are expensive to the sun. So their nose, the inside of their ears, their belly. My dog likes to sunbathe right. and have her belly out so she gets sunscreen on her tummy. These are great uh, suggestions. Yeah. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Where can people go for more information? There's tons of resources on our website, preventivevet.com. Um, and then one last thing, make sure when you're going out camping that your dog's on flea preventative, tick preventative, oh, yes. and make sure you know where the closest vet clinic is just in case of emergency. Those are really great tips. Little things that we think we remember but we sometimes right. forget. And of course, Thank you so much for being here, our special doggy model. Uh, wait, his name is... 
Nozzle. Nozzle. Yep. That's such a funny name. I yeah. love him. Is he available for adoption? He sure is. And you know what? He is a big adventurer. All right. So he's there you ready go. for you guys. He's ready for camping, ready to go. Perfect. All right. Thank you guys so much. Um, also, this